I don't think that it's fair that they're evicting the protesters. I think they have a right to speak their mind. I think 99% truly do believe that there's too much corruption in government, that big business and banks have too much say in what our government does. The people that are down here camping and, and camping across hundreds of cities in this country are, are raising awareness and they're taking a stand and I think it's important that society comes out and supports them. That's the only thing that someone could be doing tonight. November 13, midnight. trying to hold the camp, but to me it would have been impossible. And tonight with uh, probably five, ten thousand people showing up, uh, everything's possible. It's very exciting. If there's this many people, I feel empowered to stay here. It shows a lot of solidarity with a lot of different people here too. It's not just anarchists and like students from college. There's a lot of grown people, people in unions, people who um, are tired and want to break from this like grueling wage slavery. I'm just trying to educate my daughter on it. It's all about the principle. So I'm unsure about the whole thing, but the principle behind the matter is definitely uh, something that Americans need to stand up for. That what we're showing here tonight is that the greater community does support us, and I think that uh, because we're the largest physical occupation, we can be a beacon of change moving forward. You know, the local news channels were reporting that 75% of the people were gone and that the police were just clearing out the last few people, and you could see on the live feed that there was over a thousand people down here in support. There's a complete disconnect between what's actually going on here with thousands of Portlanders coming out to support the movement and, you know, the, I guess, the media side that everybody wants them to go home. It's, it's kind of one of those things where if we would all stand together, you know, then we can really change things for the better. It's actually re-energized, I think, this movement here in Portland as well. And people are not going to let this go away. I mean, I think what's happening, too, with this uh, eviction that the mayor has tried is they want to disrupt the movement. And also it coincides with the actions that they're trying to disrupt, such as the bank sit-ins that are happening um, next week. Uh, we're prepared for tear gas, uh, mace, and uh, really basic first aid. We're getting ready to, ex to extract the tear gas canisters. We're preparing to grab them with buckets, put them in coolers, and get them out so the people don't get hurt. I brought some gas masks for sure, dude. The Portland Police Bureau. Authority of Oregon Law. Southwest Third and Southwest Main is being reopened to vehicular traffic. Come the horses. More horses are coming in. We moved as a, as a group in unison, and the police retreated all the way up the street. We had people scooting on their butts towards the cops.
taking root as we bring the fortress down! We don't have monitors on the checklist.